This is Math 98, practice test 2, problem number 10. And we we're supposed to simplify, write all answers with positive exponents only. So on this problem, I have a lot of stuff going on. I have some division in here. I have everything taken to the third power. I have some negative exponents. So I could take, I'm going to take care of it in actually pretty much whatever order that I want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to simplify inside first, and then I'm going to cube everything. You could cube everything first if you want. It doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, so two-thirds, I'm not going to be able to resolve that. I'm going to leave it as two-thirds. x to the fifth over x to the negative three. So remember that, I'm going to think of it just that piece right now. What these negative exponents do is they take the reciprocal, they switch where that piece is at in the fraction. So this is the same as this which is x to the eighth over one, five of them plus three of them. If you're thinking about those exponent rules, remember when you have division, you're subtracting. Five minus negative three is positive eight. So I'm gonna have an x to the eighth up in the numerator. Let's deal with these y's. Same sort of thinking, y to the negative two over y to the seventh, that's a seven. Um, so y to the negative two over y to the seven, again, Negative exponents take the reciprocal. They switch where that's at in the fraction. So it's going to push that y squared to the bottom. So we, it's the same as 1 over y to the 7th y squared, which is 1 over y to the 9th. So now I'm going to have a y to the 9th in the denominator. So I've, I've simplified as much as I can in here. And the whole thing is still cubed. So that is uh, that's good news for me. So now what I can do is just cube everything in here. So basically I have 2 cubed times x to the 8th cubed over 3 cubed times y to the 9th cubed. Everything's taken to that third power. So 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, x to the 8th cubed. Remember this means 3 of these x to the 8ths all multiplied together. I have 8x's, eight eight x's, they're all cubed. So that means altogether I have, uh, let's see, 8 times 3, 24. 24 of these x's all multiplied together. And then same thinking with the, ni with the y's, 9, y to the 9th to the 3rd is going to be y to the 27th. There it is.